The Emerald Cup is one of the country's most respected cannabis contests. The storied competition held its 20th anniversary celebration over the weekend at the historic Henry J. Kaiser Center for the Arts in Oakland. Farmers showed off their best buds, brands, and genetics. Companies offered the latest and greatest in the marketplace, and performances from Oakland legends like Too Short lit up the stage. But at the center of it all is the Emerald Cup Awards, and this year, Mendo Dope Boys emerged victorious with their Gas Forward Heady strain, the first time a personal use entry took best in show. Mendo Dope is known throughout the Emerald Triangle and beyond for its reggae-infused hip-hop sound and deep passion for the plant. The group is typically on stage performing rather than collecting trophies. There's no doubt that brothers cultivate fire, they just haven't put an emphasis on entering contests until now. Old E and Bleezy, along with farmer Cody Dope Aiken, felt particularly inspired when the time came to submit entries for the 20th Emerald Cup. Boy's Big Winner originated from a plant grown by childhood friend Nick Box, who had died by suicide. After his death, Box's parents asked the Mendo Dope crew to check out his garden and see what could be salvaged. Despite a raid by local thieves, the future Hedy's plant survived. Quote, it was chaos, you know, a bunch of chopped plants, old E recalled. One of the plants that was very special looking was just down to the bottom with maybe two branches left on it with buds. So we're like, let's take a cut of this and bring it home and try to root it and bring it back to life. Mendo Dope Boys eventually revenged the plant, thought to be a Four Kings cross, initially calling it Nick O B or Nick, excuse me, Nick B O G in tribute. Sun-grown flower is cultivated in living soil with Soil King substrates, green tea nutrients, green trees nutrients, extreme gardening teas, and plant therapy. Plants pungent terpenes with their old-school OG Kush aromas and sticky icky buds stood out to the legacy farmers. The opportunity to honor their fallen friend was the icing on the cake. But for Nick's family and everyone, they're going to be super happy. It just keeps his name going, Bleasy told Green State. The strain name eventually evolved to Hedy's, also a nod to Box. Mendo Dope explained that their friend had always used the term Hedy's when he had fire weed, and that it was the perfect way to honor his memory. The Hedy's entry was an all-around star in the Emerald Cup flower category, impressing the judging panel and event founder Tim Blake himself. The personal use subcategory had never been in contention for the top prize until this year. When it came time to select the best in show, the judges were reportedly unanimous in their decision, an extremely rare occurrence in a hotly tested competition. But the Hedys had what it takes to sway the table. Well, we deliberate for days to come up with these winners, explained longtime flower judge Jason Beck. This was the first year that the home grow category was even in the discussion for best in show. Hedys truly stood out among the rest. Mendo Dope also found themselves in the winner's circle in the personal use solventless extract category, taking third place via a collaboration with Pezbro. Taking top terpene content was an added bonus for the second year. Next batch of headies will be on California shelves soon via Redwood Roots. The upcoming drop is sure to sell out, so consumers should be on high alert. All right, Rochelle Gordon reporting for Green State. I have to know, Jason Beck, tell me more about the Eddies. I desperately want to try it, and I can't wait for this next batch to hit the stores. It is so, so good, Rochelle. I can't wait for you to try it. I know I thoroughly enjoyed it. And if you want to see how much I actually did enjoy all of these, you can uh, you can you can see uh, me judging the 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 homegrown section this one that you that you referenced the indoor section and me even the outdoor section and so that's all on our page on the events on the events playlist you can see me judging with a fellow emerald cup judge uh, john capetta of high times as we judge the personal home grow category and that's <coughs> in regards with the entries that that you're referencing in this article and then also uh with uh mr mario guzman of Sherbinsky. And so Mr. Gelato himself, him and I, we just sat here and we judged the whole indoor competition. And that is all available for you guys to check out, watch the whole process all involved and, and see if you can figure out what number was the winner. Mm, yes. That would be a fun challenge. That would, that would be Very a fun, fun yeah. yes. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Shout out to the Mendo Dope Boys. That's that's cool. They've been around for a long time. They've been growing for a long time. Like I'm really close and have been for years with Miss Jill of TGA Genetic. Shout out to her as well. And she actually is the one who introduced me to them. And so they've been doing good work for a long time. And it's really cool to see them get recognized for it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and I, and yeah. I will, I'll go ahead. Oh, and I was just going to say, they're also just super duper nice guys. Like, so nice, so <laughs> humble. I know this trophy meant so much to them. I actually caught up with them after the show and just really, really excited to see folks who, who really earned it get up on the uh, on the stage. Mm -hmm. I believe one of them just got married, too, so congratulations to them. On oh, that. wow. Oh, yay, congrats. I love love. Well, Jason, yes. this was indoor home grow. Uh, there, there wasn't a distinction um, in the in the personal home, home grow uh, category as far as uh, the method of cultivation. Uh, it was just there. It was just homegrown in in general. So it could have been grown in someone's backyard. It could have been grown in someone's closet, in someone's bedroom, in someone's garage. Any of that, we have no clue of any of that. We were just there to judge what was the best weed. And congratulations to them because they won, and I voted for them. But it was good, sticky, icky, right? It was good. It was good, bro. It was good, and 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 you know, and and like and like I said in in uh, for, for for Green State in the quote, you know, this is the first time that as as Emerald Cup flower judges that we even considered <clears throat> home grow for best of show, and we thought that they all did a phenomenal job, and the whole category in all, in comparison from this year to last year, really stepped up 10x. In, in the quality of all of the homegrown. So shout out to all the home growers out there that are doing it and getting it. And uh, very, very, very much impressed. And, and I can't wait to see um, uh, the home grow category next year. Well, Johnny Smash made a good point down in the comments. Like it, it makes sense from a scalability, right? Like, so something that you can truly like put your love into that's in a smaller scale that you can like, I'd rather smoke my weed than anything in a jar in any store. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think throwing that love in there and throwing the actual attention, hand watering is Huge. You're interacting with the plants. You're seeing. You're catching issues more quickly. You're able mm -hmm. to fix things. So from a cultivation standpoint, definitely more manageable. But I'm excited to see people taking their medicine in their own hands mm -hmm. and growing some amazing weed. You know, I, there, there's one part of like of, of hand watering. I think that a lot of people miss, especially with a large cultivation, and 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 that is the fact that when you're hand watering, not only are you feeding the plant the nutrients that it needs, but you're also sitting there breathing over it feeding it co2 so it's getting each plant is getting direct injected with co2 as as you're sitting there watering it, getting your love and all that and so a lot of people miss out on that part all right and on that we're gonna go to our final commercial and we're gonna be right back 